Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how I've created this look that I'm wearing right now, which I've created almost like a hundred percent with new products. I've used, I've used a lot of clean beauty in this video and throughout this video I also sort of explain to you what has been going on in my life in the past month. I don't normally do that. I don't talk much about my life in here. Um, this is definitely mostly about makeup, but I've been skipping some videos in here and I, I'm very serious with my YouTube channel and um, I just wanted to tell you what was going on and why I had to do that. But don't worry, the whole video is still about makeup and techniques and we keep it positive in here. Now before we get into this makeup look, please make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel and click on the ring bell button so you'll be notified every time I'm posting a new video. Now if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then uh, please keep on watching. Let's start with this True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. This is from Ilia and this is a clean brand. I've already used some of their products but not um, this priming serum. So My skin looked so much brighter lately. I did change a few things in my skincare but I'm not sure if it's just that or has nothing to do with what I ate because I ate the way French people say n'importe quoi, meaning uh, just whatever. Let me just tell you this from the first application. I can tell you this is very brightening. The skin feels very, very hydrated and very tight. The truth is, I don't know if I can do my makeup and also chat with you guys. But I'll try. The thing is that the past three weeks, four weeks, have been a little crazy. So first I was in Norway for about three days with uh, Bai Terry and then I got back home for two days and I left to Luxembourg where I've done the makeup for Duchess of Luxembourg, Queen of Belgium, Queen Mathilde, and also Princess Stephanie. I'm, I'm super proud and I felt extremely honored to do that. And then I got home, slept one night in Paris and then I left to Romania where I was planning to spend some time with my mom because it was her 60th birthday and I didn't get to spend time with her. You see, I'm, I'm talking and I forget to do my makeup. Let's try now the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I've already tried this, I received it in PR package and I cannot say I, I, I was crazy about it but I'm willing to give it a second try because the first time I was using it, I didn't try it with the primer. So I'm having the color Corsica and Bowen. Bowen looks like this. I'm not Bowen. I'm more of a Corsica. You see, it's it's super liquidy. All right, the hair is out of the way. I cannot do my makeup if the hair is close to my face. So we decided we're gonna use, I'm going to use Corsica, which is closer to um, my skin tone. When the foundation is more liquidy like this, I feel the need of using more of a stiff brush. This is a little bit more dense and a little bit more stiff for example than the one from it cosmetics i'm going to spread it with the fingers first can you get the camera closer so we can see the the actual finish this foundation has it's not exactly my color i mean it's color it's the color of my shoulders but it's not my face color okay so now i'm taking the brush Very pretty finish, extremely natural. You wanna hear the craziest thing? This is the craziest thing. Can you see how the foundation is like peeling off? Sorry, I need to show you this. I felt like it was not spreading well with the brush and I'm like, hmm. 
And I touch it with my hand and then this happened. I know exactly where this comes from. I don't want to start it all over with the skincare and everything, so I'm just going to use a soft towel to take everything off. All right, call me crazy, but I think it's from their primer, which is completely insane because it's, you know, it's from the same brand. You're supposed to use it before, but I've used this foundation uh, before with my, just the skincare, no primer, and I had no problem with it. So let's just, I've only applied a little bit of my Exuviance serum. One pump of this foundation is a lot. I can already feel it being spread much better. Super, super luminous. And like I said, I feel it so much better right now on my face. Yep, it's not doing those crumbles. So I don't know if you guys are watching me on my Instagram as well. If you don't, you should. But um, I was keeping you guys updated in there with everything that was going on and one of the worst thing that happened to us was uh, that on my last day of being in Norway uh, Alex called me and told me that our cat Montanesco had a stroke his condition went really bad from like not walking and then he improved for like two days and then he like got extremely bad to the point of right now he's not walking at all and don't get me wrong i'm not the kind of person that would stay and look at uh, my pet suffering we actually went to the vet yesterday and alex wanted to get the vet opinion the vet's opinion if we should cut his suffering or we should wait and the, the vet saw him and he said you know he's not suffering he's he doesn't like his condition because he can't walk anymore but he's not suffering and he obviously loves you guys because we were like caressing him and my opinion as a as a doctor is that you should not put him to sleep yet so you know it was a relief because you're never ready to do that to tell you a little bit about this foundation, it's it feels exactly like a serum, except that it's not absorbed completely by the skin. When you touch the skin, you can sort of feel it. That should not be a problem if you have very dry skin or dehydrated skin. But if you have combination skin or oily skin, you might be bothered by this because it's not really sinking into the skin and it feels like skincare. I also wanted to use their concealer and this is the True Skin Serum Concealer. This doesn't have a, a lot of coverage. I've already used this. This looks like it could be a good corrector for my dark circles. Sephora 57 brush. If you don't know about this brush yet, you don't know what you're missing. You have to check out this brush for concealer. It's just magic. Very, very pretty concealer. Let me use a tiny little bit more right here. Get me super, super close. This is what the foundation and the concealer does. Now I'm gonna move on with a product that is definitely not new. You see me using this in so many of my videos, but I've changed the color because I'm so pale right now. And I wanna show you how this color performs on my skin. At this moment, this is of course the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, and this is in intensity 0.5. F03 Sigma brush. Oh, this is perfect. This is just perfect. I prefer to use synthetic brushes with cream products. Oh my god, this is the right color. Finally. Now I'm going to set everything with a powder and I'll use the Biteri Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder in the color 100 Fair. And I'm going to use the Sonia G Mini Cheek uh, brush this is part of a set. I think these are all the brushes from the set. I might be missing one, I'm not sure. But these are amazing. I don't use this that often, I'll be honest with you. But these three, they are like 
incredibly good. I love them. This one I use it for the powder, this one I use it for the blush, or you could also use it to powder the entire face, and then this one I use it for the bronzer. Such great quality, amazing, amazing quality. And I wash my brushes almost every day, so I didn't see any shedding going on. Now, before you set your makeup with powder, you gotta make sure there's no product that creased. Because once you set it with powder, that's it. This powder is truly invisible on skin. Right now, I've done my eyebrows off the camera. I've used the Brow Flick from Glossier, and then on top, I've used the Clear Brow Gel. I wanted to do a very, very natural looking um, eyebrow. The next thing I'm going to use is this Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. And this is the kind of product that you could use on your eyes, you could use on your cheeks, you could use everywhere. So I'm probably gonna use it on the cheeks as well, but first, I want to actually apply this uh, on the eyes. I'm taking this brush from Asylum, this is in Alva, and apply this as a base, just a, a little bit of color into the eyelids. I've recently received the NARS Studio 54 collection. Such a fun collection, very like sparkly and, and party looking like. Uh, this is the Hyped eyeshadow palette from the Studio 54 collection. And in case you get this and you don't know like which color goes with which, take it by rows. So here is a look, here is a look, here is a look, here is a look, okay? So you got basically four different looks, endless possibilities, but they arranged it like this because it's just easier for beginners and for people who, you know, literally have no idea how to use this. So I'm going to use this second raw in here. These are the colors that a lot of you would like and would use. Part of their Studio 54 collection uh, are also these brushes that come in this little clutch. A lot of party vibe. I mean, Studio 54 was a very, very famous, I think it still is, I'm not sure, uh, very famous um, club back in the 70s where, you know, all the good like, artists and singers could spend time in there. So I'll be using these brushes. And the first color that I'm going to use is the darkest one right here. I'm applying it all over the eyelid. Then I come with this other brush that's a blending brush to just blend the edges. Always make sure you have a clean brush next to you when you're doing your eye makeup. It's the key to create that beautiful, soft, smoky look. Same eyeshadow on the lower eyelid. Now I'm going to use this first color right here. I'll take it with a flat brush and just apply it a little bit on the brow bone. Don't go crazy with that because else it's gonna look very old fashioned. I so wanted to use the new Marc Jacobs Metallic Liquid Gel Eyeliners. These come in a bunch of colors and they're just so much fun, especially for the holiday season. This is Blitz Coin. And then I make it a little bit thicker. Then I take this tiny little brush, this is from Hakuhodo, but I'm sure you could use any lip brush. If you have any small flat brush, it would be great. And I'll take this second color in the row 
and apply it on top of that eyeliner. That's going to make it pop. I'm trying to create like a gradient if you wish. Same eyeshadow in the inner corner with the same brush. Now I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury pencil. This is a very beautiful velvety brown and apply right at the base of my lower lashes but I kind of stop like in the middle like right here it's you see it's fading I make sure I apply a little bit more right here and by the way I'm not connecting this with the top like I stop somewhere in here if you connect it it's going to close the eye now let's use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara Same on the lower lashes. Now the eye makeup is not done. We are going to use false lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to use today are the Sweet Lashes in collaboration with Nikki Makeup. And these are the style Nikki Cluster. This is what they look like. And they're super natural. We want to have a very natural lash with this look else everything that I've done at the base of my lashes no one is going to see it because it's going to be covered by lashes so you want to make sure you're not going to use a lot of these I'm going to use the dual lash adhesive so the way you want to grab these okay so you grab them from the box okay like this you dip into the blue a little bit and then you turn the tweezer like this and it's just so much easier to apply the lash three from one shot again I dip it turn the tweezer towards me I place the lash if you feel like they're not really staying in there just go press them together with your natural lashes and you can see they're they're very they're very natural looking compared with the other eye where I didn't apply anything now I could have used the other style which is the no lash lash these are super, super natural. If you're looking for the most natural lash, you should definitely look for these ones. Nikki Makeup, Sweet Lashes, No Lash Lash. But I was kind of lazy. It is what it is. So I wanted to use the cluster. I love how it turned out. You can still see the eye makeup peeking through the lashes. They didn't completely obstruct the beauty of that of that metallic eyeliner and I like it that when you when you blink it looks really really pretty I thought I would I would use this NARS but then I like this color more for this makeup look and I'll use this Bobbi Brown pink mauve uh, lip liner this is a great color I don't use this a lot for myself but I use it for the clients a lot Now this is the Huda Beauty in Shaker, I think. This is not one of those matte lipsticks, so this will not dry matte. It will stay hydrating, but it's very long lasting. You know those days when you don't know what blush goes with what? Well, just apply your lipstick on your hand like this and then Take a synthetic brush, make sure it's not a natural bristle brush because you're going to ruin it. This is a Sigma, this is a concealer brush. Is this a concealer brush? Are you kidding me? This is an F79 brush. If you feel like you've applied too much, get your foundation brush. I like to apply a tiny little bit on the bridge of the nose like so. It just all makes sense when you do that. A product that I've recently uh, purchased is this Patrick Ta 
Major Glow Highlighting Mist. And of course, I had to get the fan. How do you call this? Is it a fan? I want to use this so bad. It's going to be my first time using this. I'm using the color We Love Her. It's easy to apply it on someone else, but when you apply it on yourself, it's, it's kind of hard because it goes like into your lashes and but it's wow it's so pretty so beautiful this is not the kind of highlighter mist that you apply it and then it gets super sticky you can feel the hair like getting glued to your face it's not at all like that let's take the hair down can we back off please In case you guys were wondering what I've used to do my hair like this, the Dyson Airwrap. Like, that's my go-to. What do you guys think about this look? Hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed doing this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was not, like, rambling around about my life in here, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated with everything. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click on the ring bell button and follow me on Instagram if you wish. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Am I right or am I right? God forbid you say something else. Babe, can you get me closer? Get me close. Get me close. Closer. I want you to get me closer. Now my mom is calling. And I kind of want to use it only like right here.